What's going on everyone? So The Outsider is one of the latest HBO TV shows. It is a crime drama show and it's the latest Stephen King adaptation. For those of you who don't know, this show is quite simple in what its premise is. It's about investigators who are confronted and honestly confounded by a bunch of crimes that have been committed in this small town. Um, this is a show I was very much looking forward to, not only because it's the latest Stephen King adaptation, but also I really dig crime dramas, especially ones that seem to take interest in, obviously, finding out what exactly is going on. That, to me, is very interesting. I love investigation-type stuff. The other thing I wanted to say is I like the cast. Um, you know, you have Jason Bateman, Ben Mendelsohn, Cynthia Vio, and then, of course, Bill Camp and a slew of others. So this show was tailor-made for me as well as it being HBO. Now, the question is, is this show good? Let's get into it. So first and foremost, I wanted to say this. I mentioned the cast. I think that they are great. Every single cast member gives it their all, and it really does show with what's displayed on screen. Um, I also like the tone of the show. It's very serious and honestly reminds me a lot of, like, Zodiac, uh, Seven, Prisoners. Stuff like that I feel like the show definitely took a lot from in the best of ways with its overall tone and even, honestly, cinematography. This TV show is very dark lighting, and honestly, the color palette is also very dark. And I think it really worked with the tone that it was trying to set. Um, I also like the score. The score is not, like, mind-blowingly great, but I think with what it's going for, it really is effective in its execution. Other thing I wanted to mention is that I felt like the, um, excuse me, the intrigue of the mystery is there. There are definitely elements of this show that I think really do keep you intrigued with what exactly is going to happen next. And I think that is worth praising in itself. Um, what I will say, though, is this. I think that this first season is solid. And I say first season because right now there hasn't been any indication there's going to be a second season, but there's also no indication that's going to be a limited show, a la Watchmen. So I'm very curious. But for now, I'm just saying first season just to cover my butt upon if there is a second season. So I'll say this. The first season I thought was solid. I think the show started off with two incredible episodes. I think that was kind of one of the problems because the first two episodes directed by Jason Bateman are magnificent. I absolutely loved them. But after those first two episodes, I really do feel like the show went downhill. Um, I mentioned how the show is perfect in its execution of tone. But in terms of pacing, I really do feel as though the show wasn't able to fully balance that pacing. Because the first two episodes, yes, they are slow burns for sure. But they have so much intrigue in them that I felt like they weren't really able to maintain that intrigue because, yes, you're wondering what exactly is going to happen and where the show is going to go, but at the end of the day, it wasn't fully there. It wasn't as much there as it was the first two episodes. And again, maybe it's just expectations with the uh, overall hook of the show, but I really do feel that way. And also, and this is kind of difficult to explain, especially for someone that loves HBO and them doing only 10 episodes per season, Every now and then, maybe 13 for, you know, older shows. But my point is, I felt like the show honestly could have been, like, seven, eight episodes. Um, there's, like, sometimes issues in terms of, like, character development and plot points getting executed. And by that, I mean that I felt like stuff could have been cut out because the show has so many characters. And I usually love it when there's an ensemble cast or a lot of characters. But I felt like because there was just so many, I felt like... Nobody was really fully, honestly, developed in the best of ways. Sure, you get to know Ben Mendelsohn's character um, and, you know, Jason Bateman and Cynthia Erbo, but I felt like there wasn't enough depth to them. Uh, for me personally, <clears throat> again, at the end of the day, this is my review, so it is, you know, my opinion. But I really do feel as though they could have either cut out some characters, you know, shaved off a little bit of the episodes. And by that, I'm, I'm just saying that I just felt like maybe they should focus on fewer characters so that they can build them up even more. But again, that's just like a nitpick. Um, that and obviously, you know, the way that the show is paced. But also, I think the final episode just was kind of a letdown, honestly. It started off really good, but I thought that as that final episode continued, it just kind of ended on a whimper, you know? And I feel like with any season of any show, you don't want to end on a whimper. You want to end on something where people will remember, regardless of if you're going to get renewed or not. And I just really didn't feel as though The Outsider had that hook at the very end. So that's why, yes, I'll be watching, obviously, the second season when it comes out, if it does come out. But I don't know. I, I just, I wish that there were better elements, you know, especially given the intrigue of the first couple episodes. But besides that, I'll say this, The Outsider, overall, I did enjoy it. It's on the lesser end of the HBO spectrum, but still, it's rock-solid entertainment. And you know what? That's why The Outsider Season 1, 
I'll be giving it a three and a half out of five star rating, which for like a hot sauce rating is a good old Texas Pete hot sauce. So I'd give it a recommendation. It's definitely a uh, solid stuff. So guys, The Outsider, what did you think about it? Let me know your thoughts. Excuse me. In the comment section down below. And as always, look for the subscription, notification bell, and I'll uh, catch you guys later.